This is the IA Podcast. What are we doing? Today on the podcast, we talk about getting how we got together after a brief break that we took. All the Overwatch things, like really, honestly, like all the Overwatch things. We are in deep, deep withdrawal at the moment. As well as some stuff from Lionhead Studios and, you know, all the typical randomness that we talk about. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good one. So stick around and uh, enjoy. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. You are here. We are live. Well, not really live because it's recorded, but we are here for episode eight. My name is Brian and I'm joined by some pretty awesome people. We Take have... a shot. <laughs> are we still doing that? Is that still, yes. still yes. happening? Okay. All right. We're going to need to talk about that. Um, we have no, we Short Dinger's Cat. How you doing, man? Dragon Pussy. Oh, amazing. And we have Dude Take Ryan. a shot. <laughs> How's it going, dude? I am the true smelly pirate hooker. Oh my. So all the other people have been imposters is what you're saying. Yes. All right. Good to know. So what have you guys been up to? It's been a while since we've recorded, obviously, because Brian has, you know, failed time and time again. But... Well, I had finals last week, too. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a crazy month for a few of us. So, you know, it's, yeah. it happens, it happens. Real life gets in the way sometimes. But we are here. We are back recording episode eight. And um, yeah, how did life go for people? This is what I want to know. Schrodinger, anything you'd like to tell us? That sounds fascinating. <laughs> any any words that you'd like to put along with the, the, the that glitoral sound that you just made? Clitoral sound? Clitoral. <laughs> no, I don't think that's oh what he said. I'm but I'm, sure I'm down for that. Yeah, sure, uh. okay. yeah, we can go with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you insist, if you insist. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, anything that's been going on with you guys that you want to talk about, you know, whether it be gaming wise or whatever, well, what has been going on with you guys? I I just been trying to survive school and some uh, real life drama, and yeah, the combination of the two. Oh, and I'm on a diet now. Ooh, awesome. Sort of. What um what what kind of of a diet are you doing now? Called the like Shro Don't Be a free? Fucking Fat Kid diet. <laughs> okay, I was thinking maybe like a, it was like a gluten free diet or you know, one of those like Atkins diet or something or I mean it's so part of this actually hits on school because I was talking to uh, Miss Fire Tits about it too, because she's also dieting and she is using a name brand diet on it um but our biochemistry lecture final project was to um we were assigned teams and each team was assigned a i don't know if fad diet's the right word because some of them have been pretty well established um but basically you know a you know right, range some, some kind of diet like a, right exactly yeah, not not the typical just eat healthier, but, you know, following some sort of strange regimen thought process of a diet. Um, everything from fad diets to the more regimented, like, Atkins or paleo diets or whatever. I see. Um, I see. And, yeah, that was, that was quite the interesting um, project and line of thinking, applying all of our knowledge from the semester. But, uh... I'm actually doing something that's kind of akin to what my project was called the cookie diet. And it is, I had to introduce it to the class with our presentation as not being about um, going to Walmart and grabbing a lifetime supply of your favorite Nabisco cookie. Because that sounds amazing. I, I know, right? Be down for, who, I mean, who wouldn't be down for that? Well, Nabisco, because um, we just said their name twice, and now we're going to get removed by them for <laughs> mentioning their name. I'm I'm pretty sure we just advocated them, if anything. Anything. I know, I mean, but they're going to take it. How awesome way, would it be if you could do it with like any type of cookie? Like, does Oreo count? Because 
I would totally be down for that. My mind is so in the gutter because you said do it with a cookie and now I'm just like <laughs> fucking a box of Oreos. Oh, yes. Make a cookie big enough to fuck and cookie then fuck it. knows how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like that. Uh, anyways, it's what it really is is actually this really crazy diet um, where... The cookies you're eating, you buy from the uh, one of the various manufacturers, and they're really low-calorie content cookies. They're more essentially like low-calorie protein bars that are cut up and advertised as cookies. And they're just really high in protein and fiber so that they kind of like keep you from being hungry. But they have very little... <laughs> actual calorie content to them so you eat them every couple hours when you're hungry and it keeps you from being hungry and then you have like one really tiny meal at the end of the day so that your total intake of calories is like 1200 1000 or even like 800 calories a day and the average person is recommended to get somewhere around 2,000, 2,500 calories a day, and probably the average American actually ingests closer to 3,000 and 3,500 calories a day, um, hence why we're all fucking fat. <laughs> I feel like this would really take a lot of self-restraint in order to be like, well, I'm so that's kind of the like point of this, this and diet, end up like, you know, eating a box and a half before like lunchtime. Right. So the the point of this diet is, in fact, to kind of do that is that they, you know, it's not one of the calorie counting. You got to, you know, read the nutrition label, eat this many of that and, you know, that, you know, have to figure out what you can and cannot eat diets. It's a, hey, we supply you with a box of cookies and you, in some cases, even the little meal at the end of the day. Um, though a lot of them just tell you what you can cook and how to cook it. Um, and then, yeah, that's, like, supposed to be the only food you have. <laughs> so that you're kind of forced to be on this, and it's a very, quote, easy diet, because there's really nothing involved, there's no thought process, it's just grab and go. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hella extreme to be on that low of a calorie count and there are of course problems related to that but that whole thing being aside i was kind of inspired also super stressed out and uh recently saw the doctor who hammered it into my head again that i need to you know not be a fat kid mm -hmm. and so i'm kind of doing a similar idea but i am actually doing the calorie counting and just you know trying to eat better and eat less which is my main problem, is I can eat huge helpings of stuff, and I did not do that. And so far, it's been fairly effective. I've lost like 15 pounds in a month. Awesome. Less than a month. Congrats. So. Booyah. Yeah. Awesome. The hardest part is soda. I'm actually breaking my soda right now as I have like my second soda in like 10 days or something right now. I'm just like, I really want a soda. It's funny because I decided to stock up on a bunch of cans of different soda like um, a little over a month ago. Mm -hmm. And like two weeks later, suddenly decided I was going to do this diet thing. And I'm like, I have all of this soda in the basement. Oh, that's the worst. Damn it. <laughs> it's like it's just there taunting you. Just it like... really is. Yeah. Especially yeah. since some of it's pitch black. Is black. that a, an American thing? The Mountain Dew flavor. It's the best Mountain Dew ever. Oh. Because, you know, I'm a nerd. I have to drink Mountain Dew and make my sperm count go lower. Of course. Doesn't actually do that. Don't, don't anybody quote <laughs> me on that. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, it's okay, honey. We can't get pregnant. I'm drinking Mountain Dew right now. Yep. People have tried that. You laugh, but people have tried that. Oh, I wouldn't America. doubt that, surprise surprisingly. Well, that's that's pretty funny. Have you actually played any games though? A little bit. I've gotten like uh, as I finished projects and got things finally turned in for the semester. I got um 
Get a little bit more Rocket League in, trying to kind of save some face after my four plus month hiatus without a computer at all that could do it, and then the like intermittent playing between crazy school and real life that basically turned me from a decent Rocket League player to a shit Rocket League player, and I'm trying to get decent again. But uh, the last few days, I also got some, somebody got me into World of Tanks, which I've kind of cracked out on. Um, very niche game, but I like it. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of it. Apparently, it's supposed to be pretty good. It it's, is. It's, it's a it's a turn based strategy, right? Is that what it no, is? No, 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 no. It's um, I don't want to say first person shooter, more of a third person, but it's all from a the perspective of, of course, a tank. Right. Um, and it is so you drive your little tank around, you aim your turret, you shoot other tanks. That's really all there is to it in the action sense, but you also get the uh, management of improving your crew skills and researching new technologies and upgrading your tanks and buying newer, better tanks. And the whole thing is actually kind of an MMO, so there are clans and you can do like tournament battles and whatnot. I haven't gotten anywhere near any of that part yet, but. Um, yeah, it's just a uh, kind of an action RPG tank shooter thing. Cool. That sounds interesting. Well, now so, you said, and it's it, free it, to play. So <laughs> okay, awesome. So you said it was like sort of a an MMO type of environment. So you mm-hmm. don't actually have tanks that are like you know dedicated healers or anything or it's nothing. No, like but uh, you so have this, like this tank casts fireball. Oh fireball, god! Fireball. Well, there fireball. are our, you can be our. Included in this is our artillery, um, also known as self-propelled guns, oh, okay. um, which I keep nagging the person that got me in on this. I'm like, there's this is a poorly defined term. Something that's self-propelled is using the engine that does the work for some other machine as well as for propulsion. It's all in the same drive chain. This is not that. You can't power a gun with an engine. It doesn't work. <laughs> You can in this game. Oh, so, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you can totally... That's actually what I keep getting mad at in the last few games, is that I keep getting blown up by artillery from the other side, because you just don't see it coming. You're just like, Woohoo, I'm about to get you, tank that doesn't see me, and it's going around the... Go- Boom! Boy. What just one-shot me? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> So that sounds, yeah, sounds pretty interesting, say, and it's, it's free to play, something. you know. So yeah, for sure, something to check out. <clears throat> How about you, uh, dude? Run. What have you been up to? Well, not as much as Shro. Uh, <laughs> the YouTube thing. Uh, my sister's dog died recently, so I've been trying to deal with that. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Mm. Really sucks, but. Other than that, not a lighter note. I've been really just getting into other games and just downloaded World of Tanks. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> yeah, I was talking hell. about it, and he just like, what did well, I say? Well, I'm playing it now. <laughs> uh, what did I say? Uh, oh, no, I quoted somebody that I've been yeah. having fun. Wa- it, so it's a very global game, more so than I find in other um MMOs that I've played in, the the few that I've played in. Um, so a lot of the last game, couple games I've played today, um, a lot of my team members are speaking in Cyrillic, French, or I think Portuguese? Some sort of Spanish-Latin hmm. thing. Um, so very diverse community. Um, but then you also still have the crazy, wacko English-speaking Americans and whatnot. Um, and somebody said, good luck, have fun, and remember to grease your cannon for the sex. (laughs) And upon saying that, dude was like, that's it, I'm getting this game. And I totally (laughs) thought he was kidding, and then he told me he was halfway through the download, like, an hour later. (laughs) Like, wait, what? You think I was kidding, boy? (laughs) A community like that, I gotta join. Or at least give it a shot. 
Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it is free to play, right? So, mm. I mean, the only thing you'd be losing is time. And that's something I have a lot of. <laughs> well, there you go. I am unemployed. There you go. Well, you're, you're self-employed. Uh, sort of mean. I, I don't make enough to really call it that. Also been playing a visual novel called Asagao Academy. I forget if I said this last time we podcasted because it's been so you, long. I don't, I don't think, think you've think mentioned so. that. No, I don't remember okay. saying anything about that. It's a dating sim where you're the new girl in this school in Japan where all these YouTubers are. Specifically YouTubers from the Normal Boots uh, gang. So John Tron, Peanut Butter Gamer, Pro Jared, that group. Uh, they're in the same school, and you gotta date some of them or something. Okay. I feel like it's these really dating weird. sins are getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> the further, oh, yeah. The further, the more time you spend with these dating sim games, they're yeah. just kind of just going off on, like, first it's, like, the birds, and now it's, like, some kind of weird yeah, it's alternate YouTubers reality and <laughs> with YouTubers. Some you candy know? girl thing, and oh, there's man. one about, like, undead monsters or something okay like monsters in general it's not like oh well, i guess n i haven't played it yet but i'm i've been meaning to watch this one other youtuber play it and it's just mon you're dating monster girls i know that much i got what it was called cool Probably going to be very fucked up when I pick that up, but still. <laughs> it's, it definitely sounds like it, yes. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, what I mean, what have I been playing? I've played Life is Strange, which is sort of like um, an adventure game. Oh my god, I still need to get that. Finally finished it. And, yeah, fuck that game. <laughs> Wait, What? <laughs> What? I, I fuck that game. You you got you got to play it. No, uh, like I mean it in a good way. Like fuck I mean, I know it's a total feels trip, and it's got yes, some really definitely. Crazy so that's that's going what on. I mean. Like fuck that game. Fuck the feels. Um, but uh. yeah, no, it's it was a good game. Definitely good. Um, I heard news also that they are going to be making a second season. Uh, nothing oh. has been confirmed, like a hundred percent, whether it's going to be the same characters or different characters, but. Either way, I mean, like, I thought that it, the game was great. I liked the idea and everything. It had some weak points, you know, somewhere here and there. But um, overall, it was a very solid game. Good voice acting. Um, now, as far as, like, how the... One of the things that bothered me was some... When when the characters are saying their lines like sometimes the the characters lips don't really match up to the lines where it feels like there isn't enough expression as to like what you know what is being conveyed through words and stuff like that so that kind of bothered me a little bit but i mean other than that it was a really great game really highly recommended so if you guys are into adventure games definitely go for that one mm-hmm mm -hmm. Or like pick it up whenever it's on sale, you know. I think that's, I think that's what I did, which leads me into uh, another point actually that apparently there is a summer sale. That there's has always a summer out. sale. Well, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a summer sale, and we know the date because it was leaked out. I just don't really recall what it was. I want to say it's the end of really June. quick. Steam summer sale for 2016. I'm fairly positive somebody said June 23rd. Yes, it is June 23rd to June July 4th. June 23rd to July 4th, yes. There we go. So, um, yeah, a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not. I stuff. have none. <laughs> oh, man. I'm probably going to be spending a lot of money. My poor bank account. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I've been playing a lot of Rocket League as well, and... Um, I feel like I've gone better at it too. And I finally That's good. Yeah, I finally kind of managed to learn how to fly sort of, you know. So that was a big accomplishment, I I believe. Learn so to fly. <laughs> I know it was kind of late to the party to the whole Rocket League thing, but 
Um, yeah, hey, I got tra- into. Tried to warn you, man. I know. Eh? I got into it because um, it was on sale, and because a friend of mine, like we were looking to play something together, so it was free to play at that point that weekend. We played it. It was amazing. We're like, okay, we got to get this game. So that's what we've been doing, cracking out on the Rocket League. And as far as gaming, that's pretty much it. I mean, I played uh, some Diablo 3, season whatever we're at now, season 5 or 6. Slowly making progress on that. But, you know, other than that, nothing really new, which is a shame because I know, like, we've got we've got a couple of new games that have come out now. Like, the new Doom game. I would say Doom came out. Yeah. I want to play that. I... I haven't really heard like good or like anything deciding. I've heard some people like bash it and hate on it and other people just hold it to the highest praise and I don't know what to make of any of it. Yeah, it is getting kind of mixed reviews at the moment. And um that's kind of uh, one of the reasons why I haven't really picked it up either cuz I'm just like cuz I mean in Canada right now I think that game is like $80 Canadian. Which is just way too much for something that I feel is only... I'm only going to play it once and only the single player part of it, you know? I really, right. I really don't think I'm going to be playing a multiplayer. If it even has... I do believe it has multiplayer in it. It does. Sure. I, I'm hearing that the multiplayer is what's getting panned more than anything. Okay. But yeah, see, one of those games like, you know, like Wolfenstein or Stein or whatever it's called. That are like Doom games. Like those meathead shooters type of games. Like, for me, it's like a once... A once through the single player campaign and then that's kind of it for me you know i don't really have a lot of time to invest in a multiplayer shooter for those type of games so that's why you know spending like 80 dollars on it just it does not seem like something that's going to happen anytime soon i'll probably just wait until it goes down in price or something and then try it out and see you know what it's all about Um, I guess I do want to talk about Overwatch. Oh God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, Shro, have you gone into any of this Overwatch action? Mm, I've, I've seen a few video. videos, but that's about it. Okay. Any like you know first look impressions that you want to tell us before we kind of get into this? I mean, it sounds promising. Everybody loves it. It looks promising. It looks beautiful too. So there's that. But look really nice. I don't know. I the purchasing of new games is something that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do in the near future. So mm-hmm. Doom, Overwatch, all those things are just kind of like, oh, that'll be nice. <laughs> My brain right now. So I feel you. Plus, I'm you hoping know- I can get it, but. Plus, I mean, you're not, you don't really have the time to, I mean, with school and all, it seems, so there's that aspect to it. Yeah, now I've traded school for just another huge assortment of projects that have been being put off because of school. Oof. Now my schedule got shifted around, too. Working another morning shift. I hate mornings. I've decided that I, like, I'm a second shift worker, or, like, second shift. And I'll do third shift, too, if I have to. Mm -hmm. But for the love of God, don't put me on first shift. I fucking hate first shift. I do not like it. I hate it. (laughs) I hate waking up early in the morning. That's the thing for me. Well, it's not only that. I hate waking up early in the morning. But at the moment, like, I also... My mornings are kind of sacred to me because I can talk to certain people in the mornings. Mm Mm-hmm. Fair enough. And, um, yeah. For me, yeah. Like, I mean, for me, it's really just a matter of getting up early in the morning. That really sucks. Uh, but after that, usually, you know, as long as I can make it through the day, then it's kind of nice to have the rest of the evening off. So uh, at the moment, you know, it's kind of like I'm working evenings, which is all right. But, yeah, well, we'll see what happens there, too. But in any case, hopefully, I hope you can, you know, get around to getting Overwatch. And I hope you do end up enjoying it. To me and quite a few other people, it does seem very much like a spiritual successor to TF2. 
You know, I mean, what do you, what are your impressions, dude, run? Oh my God. I want to play it right the fuck now. <laughs> That's one of the things, honestly, like I have been going through an overwatch withdrawal ever since that closed beta or open beta ended. Like, yeah, I me too. I don't know what to do with myself. I didn't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Oh, playing man. visual novels, trying to quell this, to quell <laughs> the urge to play it, and it's not helping. It's I, right. It's almost like every game that you're playing in between is kind of like uh, nothing. Like exactly. there's there's an emptiness. Exactly. It's almost like you know when you when after you've gone out of like a really good relationship, that you know it's like you really miss that person. So then you're like. Okay, like I am just gonna date all these different other games, and you know, like I know it's, they're really just rebounds. That's what they are, you know. Like I want to go back to that good relationship, but you can't because <laughs> they've gone away, and they won't be back until freaking May twenty fourth, and it sucks. So that's kind of what it feels like right now, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm really. Really, really, really looking forward to Tuesday night, at least. Oh, hell yeah. Or, or Monday night, I should say. Yeah, Monday night, because yeah. it's, uh, it's apparently just like getting a slightly earlier release than we thought, but it's coming out at the same time in every time zone ever. Mm -hmm. The same exact moment. So we'll be able to play, I From think, May 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern. I guess that is wrong. They do come out at different times regionally. Yeah. So for Eastern time, 7 p.m. May 23rd. Oh, yes. Which is oh, just shit. after a oh, charity so stream a I'm days. doing, so yay. Mm -hmm. What did you say, Shro? Uh, just commenting that. Now I'm envisioning dude after his charity stream. <laughs> okay. Gotta go, guys. Done with the money makings, cause I gotta go play Overwatch <laughs> for Might five up, days straight. <laughs> <laughs> what might end up happening is I play Overwatch for like an extra half hour just on that stream. Encore charity stream. Watch me play Overwatch for. <laughs> well, time to change games. <laughs> and never go back to anything else. I just propose that you preemptively make a like little 30 second sweep of an animation video to play at the end of your charity stream <laughs> where it signifies that your charity stream actually isn't yet over and that it will continue until you drop as you play overwatch non-stop <laughs> until your body succumbs to exhaustion and you pass out on camera <laughs> Okay, I've got to, like, look at how to fake an ending of a stream. <laughs> but I will totally do that. Oh, man. Just do Honestly. your bye-bye thing and then just, just you Pop know, start YouTube then, yeah. pooping the next 25 seconds <laughs> of just Overwatch all time. All Overwatch. Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> Dude, I can script this for you right now. Okay, I, problem I though, I don't know how to happen. get that to work in OBS. I've tried before, I you just, just don't know if it can work. You just need to make a video. I know, but it doesn't it import video. right in OBS, and I've tried before. I don't know if it's become a thing that works now or not, but I will look into that. I know OBS recently did come out with a, a newer update, so... Oh. Check that out. Yeah, so check it out, see if it's possible, and uh, definitely... I'll should totally do that. Yeah. Do that right the fuck now. <laughs> Honestly, let's let's do this. Like, let's play this game as soon as it's released, up until to the point where we are basically like Numb. keyboard face, like keyboard, <laughs> whatever that term is. And waffle face. Waffle, waffle face. face. In my yeah. case, or it would be face. microphone face because that's the thing that's in front of my head right now. Same <laughs> here. Yeah, but <laughs> I feel like head. Or face palming your snowball would be like a bad idea. Mm. Yeah, it really would. I'm not even sure that would work. It just I feel like you'd just kinda like push it off the table since it's on a tripod. It's yeah. not really flat. It's actually not even on a tripod, it's on a mic arm, so I'd just really just move the arm and then I would hit my head on the rather 
Oh god, you have to like really loosen the, the arm and make it like o really oiled and squeaky so that when you hit it, it just kind of like swings around and comes back and hits you in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the great ideas that are happening right now. I love this it. week on Dude's Charity Stream. Dude kills himself. <laughs> over and over <laughs> and over. And screams at Overwatch. It's gonna happen. Uh, like we got um, we we need to coordinate this with uh, Mel, with Ranieri and Sockmed and God, all those yes. people that want to play. And from we're gonna poop sock the hell out of this game until like, <laughs> uh, until basically poop we're sock? like, yes. What? Have you guys never heard of this term? No. What? No. You know, it's like I, it's like when, when you're playing. I'm pretty a game sure I know so what you're much, about to say. When you're playing a game you so say much. It. That, like, you know, it's like, okay, well, you gotta go to the bathroom, you gotta pee, so you pee in, a, in, like, a bottle, an empty bottle or something. When you gotta poop, you take your sock, you poop in it, <laughs> and then you're back in the game. <laughs> wow. Poop socking, um, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Okay, no. <laughs> no. I was say King Brown Alert over there. <laughs> yeah. That sock ain't gonna hold much. <laughs> oh, God. I'd need a trash bag. Oh God! What? <laughs> what do you eat? What do you? What you have for dinner? Like Taco Bell for the past I would say, five are you years? kidding? We live on pretty Taco much. Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you how happy I am that they brought back the like double stuffed burrito things for a dollar? <laughs> because it means that I can not only ha like get cheap Taco Bell. Those things are kind of tiny enough that if I just like get two of them. It actually kind of fits in my diet regimen idea that because I'm just trying to not eat a lot. I don't necessarily <laughs> eat healthy. Uh huh. But just try to 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 kind of tone down the amount. Right. So like three dollars, two little of those stupid burritos, and a thing of refried beans. Fucking set, dude. Totally. Mm. Oh, man. That and I so, rediscovered fruit. That's also the big secret. <laughs> nice. Cutting out the soda. Yeah, I mean, usually, you know what? It, it, it These are fucking delicious, the, dude. The sugary part, you know, fruits are great for that. Um, apples, when you eat an apple, like, because yep. you're chewing so much, yep. it's like you feel full. You're tricking your brain into thinking you've just eaten quite a lot more than you actually have. So that definitely helps. Also, pro quick tip, brush your teeth a lot. I don't know why, but that helps me. This podcast brought to you by the Dentist Association of whatever the fuck country we're in. <laughs> Four out of five dentists recommend you brush your teeth more than the recommended amount. Why four out of five? And you listen to a all of them. <laughs> well, the the fifth doctor is more of like a back alley doctor, you know, so he doesn't really give a shit. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. He's brush teeth ass. Yeah, hey, kids. Too short. You want some mouthwash? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Why? I got some toothpaste Why? for you. <laughs> Why did it go to that dark, dark corner? Well, you're the one who brought it up. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> oh, I man, got some so... bottles of white paste for you. Oh, God. <laughs> you want do your teeth ounce? wonders. Uh, so did you guys actually see the newest animated short for Overwatch? Oh god, yes. So good, right? They're animated. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. It's Blizzard, of course there's going to be something. Get with the program, Shro. Dude, I I pay no fucks to Blizzard. Dude. You should see Okay, face. recently they kind of like eh, story is still kind of pissed about that, but still yeah, that's true. They do good cutscenes. They, they do? They do good a lot of CGI. Indeed they do. Eh. They do do do. There was something about Nostalgia I wanted to talk about, but I forgot what it was, so I guess we'll just keep going with it until I remember. Okay, or we could just make shit up. <laughs> yeah! There we that go. That sounds Nostalgia. like a great idea. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, man. So apparently they're going to be releasing the animated short for Soldier 75 or whatever you 76. Call it. 76, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I think on the 23rd or the 22nd. That doesn't sound like a rip on TF2 at all. 
Well, he's uh, like he's more of a rifleman gunner kind of thing than a rocketly launcher. This is true. Rocket yeah, launcher. Yes. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Um, and yeah, I mean, honestly, we have really so many things to talk about Overwatch, but the main thing is, I'm just like, I want to play the game again. It's so good. Like, I feel like I honestly, with Reaper, I found my perfect character. Like, I found the character that I can kind of go in from behind, sneaking around, you know, and then just get him from behind because that is how I like to play. And also slightly suicidal as well. So it's perfect for my play style. Hello. So apparently Shro Shro is, Shro is, is lagging. Okay. So apparently Shro has is trying to enter a different dimension. And uh, yeah, still entering that different dimension. <laughs> mm, that, that, that's that's good. Yeah, no, it's still happening. Well, yeah, well, we've lost Shro <laughs> to the ninth dimension, I think, with that amount of lag. Probably. Yeah, he he's in space this whole time. Uh, I mean, we try to make it work. Wi-Fi but, sucks. Know, yeah, it does. They haven't really, you know, mastered the whole complexities of running Wi-Fi stuff near Mars. From yeah, <laughs> I think that moon needs to like come out of the current orbit before you can start again, Shro. Exactly. That slingshot of data, though. All the data. All right, the uh. I have it pulled up anyway. Mustarius was having a meeting with Blizzard. I don't know how that went, but they're either they already they either already had the meeting with Blizzard to discuss legacy servers, or they are about to have it soon. No. So maybe we can get legacy servers in WoW. Maybe not. I don't know. That would be interesting. Up in the air. That would be interesting. Yes, it would. Especially, like, the pricing model that they might have for something like that. You know? Yeah. Like, if you pay, like, the regular fee, you know, whatever, like, I think it's, like, what, 16 bucks a month or 15 a month or something? It's 15 USD, yeah. yeah. so then you get, you know, you get the regular server, and you also can play on the nostalgia server, on the vanilla yeah. server. But if they were to charge, like, something like $5 or $7... Yeah, and you'd only get access to the vanilla server. That would be cool too, and that I could probably afford that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting. Or I could horn myself out to Brian; and he could pay for me. There we go. Wink, yeah. wink, nudge, nudge. That always works too. That is always an option. Mm -hmm. My door, my office door, is always open. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. I have to come on in your office door every <laughs> time. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, yes. So, Shro, has that moon moved out of the way yet? I have no idea. You tell me. Okay, yeah. It has. All right. Okay. Yeah, he's back. He's back. He's back. I mean, half of the noises that I was making after you guys said that I was lagging, I was intentionally just saying nonsense. Just to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Remember what any of that was? <laughs> no. Damn. That's okay. why it's nonsense. <laughs> Good job, Shro. <laughs> So, was there anything else we wanted to talk about? I mean, following up on some of our last podcasts, uh, Lionhead Studios is has officially been shut down. And, what? Ooh, yeah. And, um, yeah, the, nobody was able to purchase it because Microsoft didn't want to sell it with the Fable IP. Oh... So people were like, um, no, thank you. Because, you know, I mean, yeah, pretty much it's it's all about the fable. So that's it's super. It's a super bummer, man. Thing is, does that mean fable's dead or is it just Microsoft's thing now? I would think it would just be like Microsoft's thing. What the question is, are they going to do anything with it? That is the question. Yeah. Because, I mean, Lionhead was pretty much the mass. Well, it was the mastermind behind the whole Fable development. And especially that new Fable game that seemed pretty interesting. 
Yeah, I'm pissed about that too. Sadly, we will never see. Maybe not in the the iteration of Fable, but maybe someone will step up to the bar and make a game similar. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, they could total that could totally happen. That could totally yeah. happen. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, indie developers, get on it. <laughs> exactly. Because, um, I mean, yeah, it, it did kind of feel they were just kind of slapping the Fable name on it just because, you know, it would sell well. But that could totally be just, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry and just be like sending them into bottle and have like Overwatch dude be like, OK, I'm controlling bad guys, you know, so they could totally work. It's all about the time and resource and if whatever developer is tied to it would, you know, would be able to do it. Uh, still a shame because Microsoft has all the monies. Yeah. So I guess I heard recently that um, mm -hmm. Microsoft pulled all of their stock or rather um, Bill Gates pulled all of his stock out of British Petroleum, I think it was. Oh. I feel like it was some big oil or something. Really? That they, um, yeah, more personal move, obviously. But yeah, they got, they pulled their money out of something recently. Hmm. I want to say it was BP, but yeah. Okay. Not so much a gaming thing. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, I don't... Is Bill Gates even affiliated in any way with Microsoft? Well, aside Nowadays? from being the like, founder. Well, yeah, he's a, he, he's a founder, but I mean... I don't know I, how much of a hand he has in current affairs anymore, but I mean, I'm sure they listen to him if he said something. Right, yeah. All right. Well, was there anything else we wanted to talk about as far because it has been a couple of weeks since we've done this, and um, I think we've all just been real busy. That's that's big, really the yeah. Issue. That's one of the main issues, really. We we'll have to now that everybody's like kind of trickling back in. We we'll have to do Get our everyone back assessments of and, new things. Exactly, and I mean, you know, once May twenty fourth rolls around, I mean, this is gonna be we're renaming this to the Overwatch. IA podcast, so that'll be fun. <laughs> all Overwatch, all Overwatch, the time. Watch even the during the podcast, we'll be playing Overwatch and talking exactly. about it and raging. Exactly. While we're on the bathroom, we'll be streaming it <laughs> from our phones somehow because that's a thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> this is me in the bathroom not playing Overwatch. <laughs> God damn it, I died to May again. <laughs> oh man, we well, are I do the have Overwatch Anonymous. About. I have something to talk about, but I don't, I need to pull it up because I forgot the exact context. But uh, I think a couple podcasts ago, I talked about how DMCA was being, which is Digital Media Digital Millennium Copyright Act, has been abused by a lot of corporations and big media, mm -hmm. basically going after smaller content creators like myself or even someone a lot bigger than me, like. John Tron or that guy with the glasses. Uh, Fight for the Future has actually gone to these copyright makers or lawmakers or whatever to voice our voice not only their opinions but the collective internet opinions about why DMCA is bad and the collective it, internet. Yes, this is our logical internet. and you know well thought out <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, response to your thoughts on DMCA. In this column <laughs> is the internet's response collected up in two words. Fuck you. <laughs> I would have gone further with fuck yourself with a cactus. But uh True. They are going the uh Government's going to be opening up another round of comments for this law, the DMCA, and see. This time we're going to have more than a day to comment. 
Because last time this kind of thing happened, we had less than a day to voice our concerns and opinions about it, about what they wanted to do and all that. And a uh, hundred thousand people commented in less than twenty-four hours. Imagine what we can do with a week, maybe mm. more. Hopefully, yeah, that shit needs to be rectified, yo. Yes, rectified in their rectums. Exactly. I don't know if I mentioned it last last podcast, but the lawmakers for the for the DMCA wanted to in wanted to enact a take down stay down law where if they take down a piece of media like say a movie review they don't like that has to stay down forever wow that's really? bullshit hmm. this is what we call the total disconnect between the united states government body and the rest of the world mm-hmm Damn. Pretty much. I'm telling you, all of the old fuckers need to either die out real soon, or wake the we fuck have up. Some sort of political revolution coup of sorts yeah. in our election. Though I feel like that's not going to happen because we've been trying to do that to a degree of sorts, and are now getting wonderful evidence of how far people are willing to go counter that with things like the pretty much subversion of the democratic process in the Nevada Democratic Caucus last weekend. Yeah. Where we pretty much should have rioted and we're on the edge of rioting because people trying to lead the Democratic Party basically said Fuck you, I'm doing it my way. And ignored the majority votes. Hey, I'm still kind of in shock and awe that that happened, and just how many people caught it on video, and how there hasn't been some sort of criminal prosecution yet. Kind of a little crazy. Definitely a little crazy? Kind of totally ridiculous. <laughs> kind of. Completely, totally fucked up. Totally. I'm, I'm still starting to real, lean real hard towards just martial law. Martial law, clean house, take martial law back out, restore everything. <laughs> Get the shit over with. Ugh. Totally. Laughing stock of the planet. America. Anyways, that was a really depressing sidetrack. <laughs> puppies! A little bit. Oh little god, puppies. that's even more depressing right now. Aww. Oh. Mm. Five puppies. Yay! <laughs> there we go. There we go. I was still kind of messed up on my part, but whatever. <laughs> Plus cat! Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Go with cats. I also forgot to mention, I'm doing it. Well, I guess this won't matter soon because it'll probably be a late late episode when people finally watch this but i'm going to be doing a, a charity live stream monday may 23rd 2016 at 1 p.m to 7 p.m eastern where i play legend of zelda oracle of something Ooh. and make raise money for the the uh place we got kona our dog that died uh -huh. so That's yeah really cool I explained yes. that horribly, but whatever. <laughs> so definitely, I mean, go check it out, and uh, dude, we'll put the description, the links on the description. Description. So. Now I'll be now, doing many question, more charity live streams after this. I was a huge this, fan so. of both Oracle games. Do you remember if it's going to be Oracle of Seasons or Oracle of Ages? Um, I put a vote on Twitter asking which one should I play, and so far, Oracle of Ages is winning. So probably going like to be playing Ages Oracle was Ages. the better game. Yeah, I started with Ages and then forever went on to season wanted to get Seasons. And when I finally did, I kind of disappointed slightly, but I kind of still liked it. 
I mean, I liked both, um, but then the, there's the whole factor where, like, the games kind of correlate to each other, because mm. they were supposed to be the same game at one point, and then they got separated out. Um, or, no, there was, like, a third game, it was. There was Seasons, Ages, and there was supposed to be a third one, and the third one kind of got scrapped and turned into the weird mechanic where the two games can influence each other. So if you talk to um, the goddess Pharaoh, Fire for Fire for A, something, yeah, whatever. something like that. Um, then you can use codes that you obtain throughout either game, um, just like the old like Super yeah. Nintendo Nintendo level unlock codes. Same idea. You put these into the games back and forth. And it unlocks a lot of different secrets within the two games, and then some of them open up the possibility for hidden levels and a quote like true ending to the game. Yeah. That both cartridges have programmed into them, um, which I did. I do vaguely remember. Done it, and like you get to the oh, Ken was involved the whole time twist and all that. Sadly, I never got around to playing those games. I it honestly got really oh fucking confusing. I played all that when I was like twelve. Yeah, I I feel wow. like I feel like that's why part of my brain is dead at the day and age. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing Wind Waker when I was like you know around that age. Not Wind, no, not Wind Waker. Um, what's that other Game Boy one? The one with the Link's Sweet Awakening. Game? Yes, that was the one, yeah. Uh, oh my god, I love Awakening. And that one was so good, and I, but I slightly never got around to playing the whole whatever of ages, Oracles of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. But It, seemed it looks exactly the same in terms of graphics, but right. oh my god. Yeah, it, it seemed like a really cool concept at the time, you know, but hmm. yeah. Sadly never got around to it. Well, now you get to watch me fail at it because I forgot I will, how to beat it. <laughs> I will definitely be there watching for sure. Oh, yeah. Every breath you take. Every step you. you take, I'll be watching you fap. Because <laughs> apparently that's how people fap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they blow up themselves. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. So, yeah. Thank you again, guys, for, for you know coming on the cast. And um, we'll definitely have to, you know, catch up again once Overwatch comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I, I can't wait. Nor can uh, I. It's going to be so good. And uh, unfortunately, Mel wasn't able to join us tonight, but I know she's <sighs> also been really, really, really into Overwatch. So we'll have to get her back next week and we'll be talking about all the Overwatch again. Hell yeah. So stay tuned for that. And again, you know, you can find all the info you need in the description because Dude Run will just copy pasta all that stuff in there. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so until next time, uh, from Shro, from Dude Run, and from I, thank you so much, and we'll see you again next time. We are the... What are we again? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Where the insomniacs yeah, not a mess of insomniacs. <laughs> insomniacs. Insomniacs. Oh no no more. Insomni orcs. Insomni orcs. Orcs. Yes. That's kind of fitting with Overwatch and Blizzard. Orc orc. Orc orc. There's no orcs in Overwatch. I know, but it's Blizzard. There's a dwarf. And yeah, true. Ah, good point. There is a dwarf. Yeah. So that could work. And you might argue that Roadhog is an orc because he's so fucking huge. Oh, there you go. Or like an ogre, maybe. Uh, anyway, bye, everybody! Bye! Bye! bye.